So we are going to do the decode date function. Call this button decode date. So when I'm going to click on this button, I'm going to take the current date and I'm gonna extract the year, the month, and the date out of this uh, current date. Okay, so the function that we are going to use is called decode date. Okay, it needs four parameters. First one is a date field or date data type, then three word data types. So, so the first one we can use the current date. So when I enter date it will give me the current date in the album. But I need to declare three word variables. So one is gonna be year, the other one month and then the data type for them will be word so what is a word data type okay. the word data type is integer holding positive values up to something like 65,535 if I remember correctly okay, so the Word data type is an integer holding values up to let's say 6535. Okay, so it's integer data type. So now we can use them in here. The first one must be the year. So it's going to put the year into the first one of the three word data types. The second one will be the month, and the third one must be the day. So these must be in the correct order. First one must be the date that you want to decode. The second uh, parameter will be the word variable where you want to save your year. The third one must be the a word variable where you want to save your month and the fourth one will be the word variable where you want to save your day of that date okay right, so let's use a show message to display different stuff like first one i'm just going to display the date so that you can see what is the current date and to be able to display the date i must convert it from a date to a string Date to str. This one. Let's run it. Okay, so it's showing us the current date. Okay. Now I'm going to use another show message. This time, I'm going to see whether he extracted the current year. Remember what you said, the word is like integer, so we can use the int to str to convert it to a string so that we can display it. There's the current date, and there's the current year that was extracted. Now I'm going to use the same thing here for the month and the day. So I'm going to get the year, the month, and the day to display and show messages. So first it's going to be the whole date. So the year is 2021, the month should be 06, and the day will be 14. Right, that's the year. Next one will be the month. There we go. The third one is the current day. So with the, ink, uh, with the decode date, we can basically extract the year, 
a month and the day of a, any specific date that was given. Remember, you don't need to use the system date. You can have extra, you can maybe get date from some other source or from the user input, and then you can use the decode date to separate the year, the month, and the day.